Hey there, fellow Air Gauger. So here's a little update on the Gardner Denver duplex pump project. So uh, yesterday I uh, took all the parts outside and used a greaser and a pressure washer. Pressure washed everything. Uh, got in here with a wire wheel, wire wheeled all the various parts. Um, cleaned it all up and then... Uh, sprayed primer and let that set up for a little while and then put the black paint on there Being 90 degrees the paint didn't take very long to dry at all and this morning. I'm starting on the uh, the reassembly So one of the other things I also did um, Using some uh, grinding paste uh, There's a uh, fine grinding paste and then on the bottom here is is coarse and you start with the coarse and then work your way to the fine stuff and basically just lapped in the uh the valves here up up on top just to make sure we have a good seal on each of those uh there's also valves underneath i haven't done those yet but those, that'll be next uh, I also have uh, gaskets to make for here and up here. Uh, started making gaskets in the house. Um, you can see here, I've got one that I've started so far. I mean, not nearly as nice as the factory gasket, but you know, it'll do the job. On the uh, on the pump in, there was quite a bit of grooving in the uh, in the bronze sleeves. So I took the uh, cylinder hone and went over that quite a bit and got rid of uh, a lot of the uh, the grooves. Now, what I'm what an idea I have to replace uh, these um, obviously homemade uh, rings in here is uh, we're going to try some. From McMaster Carr, uh, two inch diameter, ultra high molecular weight, I think it's a Delrin um, plastic, and cut these into rings and fit them in. Now, the nice thing is that these bores are a little bit less than two inches, and this is a little bit more, so I'm hoping that I can cut it, put a, you know, put a little slot in it, and then compress it as rings and put them in there and I hope that works. Now, if that doesn't work, I'll have to go to uh, something else and see. But so far, that's the only thing I've come up with for rings. As for the rings on the other side, I put the two new ones in. I actually already had this in the bore and then I just looked a few minutes ago and realized that I would forgot to put that part on. I had to take it back out. But... Uh, on this, <clears throat> there is a uh, there's a little pin. You can see it there. There's that little pin there that holds the the rings in position. And you have to get this in and get beyond the counter bore without either of these sliding out of the the pin, and that's kind of tedious. But uh, I got it in there first time. I'm sure I'll get it back in again. <laughs> And uh, so let's see, uh, yeah, after I get this end in, I have the gasket, I can put this end all together. Um, I have the gaskets to put this together. Um, the the, uh, the rocker piece is ready to go back on. Uh, this here, you know, the, there's a certain spot where this goes because there's a, there's a couple, there's a hole in here for one of the set screws so it, there's only one spot that can go and then at this end here of uh, making up the new rings and seeing how well that works hopefully it does if not try plan B uh, go to the lower set of valves and lap those in oh the springs that I bought uh, these are a little bit too short. I need something a little bit longer, so I'll go back to the catalog and get the same spring, just a little bit longer. Um, and let's see what else. There's a couple studs that need replaced and some bolts and the like, and then it'll be ready to, uh, to test run. Now, 
I don't, I'm not going to have it ready to go for this weekend to test run while we have 58 running this weekend, but um, probably two weeks from now, or we just fire the engine up one day just to, uh, just to test the thing out. And then once it's together and it works and I can pump water and then try to pump it against some sort of pressure head, um, trying to figure out what I can do for that, maybe, uh, you know, discharged into a, a valve and then just keep closing the valve and then watch the pressure and make sure this thing will pump up against, uh, you know, 150 pounds of pressure. I think that's the most I can come up with with air pressure to run this on and see what happens. Well, or not air pressure. Pfft. We're going to try it on steam. You know, have 100 and... 150, 160 pounds of steam pressure running the uh, the steam end, and then pump water against at least that much resistance. And if we can do that, and it can deliver water against that resistance, that tells me that when I put it together and try to pump water into the boiler, it'll actually do it. The uh, you know the the thing that worries me is whether or not this bore here is completely round whether the grooves are going to cause enough water to bypass here to not be able to generate the pressure we need so we're going to have to find out about that um so other than that uh it's going along pretty well so far all right that's up that's it for this update on the gardner denver uh, feed water pump project